Hello folks, today we're going to make as a cracker wee key lime pie for 8 people for under a fiver. So we've got a wee pastry tart case, we've got our biscuits, our melted butter, and for our film we've got eggs for, uh, for filling, condensed milk, we've got our limes already juiced and zested. So we're going to make our filling first. So just our, it's just the biscuits just to put through the processor, some melted butter. Let's add that on. Give it a wee stir in. Just well, make sure it's all well mixed. And then we're going to put this into our pastry case. And we're going to bake it in the oven. Put it all in, and we're going to push it all down. Sides as well. Let's get a wee spoon. We're just going to press it round the edges and make sure the case is completely covered. Just like that. And spread out our biscuits, covering any holes. Just like that. And we're going to bake it in the oven for 10 minutes at 150 degrees. We're going to make our wee filling. So for the filling, we're going to use egg yolks. And for the meringue on the top, we're going to use the egg whites. So we crack our egg. So the egg yolks, egg whites into your bowl, your metal bowl. Egg yolks into your plastic bowl. Just be careful. Sometimes you can crack them and put them through your fingers. I always find it easier going from shell to shell. If you get a bit of egg white or egg yolk or egg shell into your white, you can always use an egg, the egg shell to get it out again rather than trying to hook it out with your finger. So it seems to go back into the shell easier. That's our eggs done, we'll save those egg whites for later on. Let's get a wee whisk. We're gonna whisk our egg yolks. A couple of minutes. Just well mixed. A couple of seconds. Gonna add our condensed milk. So just one tin condensed milk into it. It's great stuff you can eat this by a spoonful. It's really really sweet. And just push that in. Couple of seconds, that's all well mixed. I'm going to add our egg, our lime zest, and lime juice. Just pour it over there. Give that a wee mix. So the lime juice is going to react with the egg yolks and sort of like cook them really. So your sauce will start to get thicker as the eggs are cooked in the lime juice. So that's
Now next. So we'll set that aside until our pastry case is ready. Okay, so after 10 minutes, we've taken a wee tray out, well, a wee pastry case out, and we'll just let it rest here, cool down for a few minutes. Our filling's ready, now we're going to make our meringue. So we've got our egg whites, we've got our sugar, and we've got our corn flour. So we're just going to whip up our egg whites to a soft, soft peak. We're going to add our sugar, we're going to whip it up again until all the sugar's melted and it's nice, uh, silky smooth. And then we're going to add our corn flour. So we're going to just put it on a whisk. So whisked up, we're going to add our sugar. Put our sugar on it. And put it on the whisk again. That's so nice and smooth. Okay, so that's all the meringue melted, all the sugar melted into the meringue. I'm going to add two tablespoons of our corn flour. Let's get again nice and slow and then add the high speed. Yeah, that's our meringue ready. Take off the whisk. And just set that to the side. Now we're going to fill our wee pastry case now with our lemon or our lime. Put in our felon. Just spread it out. Just like that. Top of it there. Meringue. Just do a wee pipe back. Put it in the bag. Once again, just fold it over under your hand and scrape the spoon of the meringue onto your hand underneath the bag. You can use a wee nozzle, I just want to keep this nice and plain and rustic. You can do it all nice and fancy with a wee star nozzle on it. That's it. Oh, all the way across. And we're going to bake this in the oven. For. 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees or until the wee meringue is nice and crispy. So it's about 20 minutes now. I want to take out a wee pie. Oh, nice and easy. And this is the worst bit now. We'll have to wait three hours for it to cool down before we can get a slice. So finally after three hours we're going to cut into our key lime pie. Well, that is amazing. There you have it folks, there's my key lime pie. Check out my big raspberry and white chocolate cheesecake on the isolated shelf. Thanks very much, bye bye.